Hello all, welcome to the Onshape tutorial on 3D modeling using a revolve feature in Onshape. Uh, today we are going to model a flange as shown in this figure. A flange uh, with uh, uh, six holes, uh, all the dimensions you can see here. Okay, so the first thing we, 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 we want to make a, a sectional sketch then we will make the revolve feature and after making the revolve feature we will uh, make a six point using the uh, <coughs> uh, sketch function okay then uh, we will go for the whole whole we will use the whole feature in the 3d model okay so shall we start now we can start a new part studio uh, we will start with a sketch okay so you will just click on the uh, sketch from the toolbar just select the the front plane for sketching okay so front plane will select it for sketching right click view normal okay so i i want to import a, a picture to uh, this for helping uh, the sketch for that I will just click on insert an image, you can click on the insert an image and uh, then uh, 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 you can go for the import function from there it's simply so uh, All right, I'll click and I'll just okay. So I'll just click here to place it. Okay, so uh, you can see the uh, dimensions also here that will help us to make the sketch. Okay, this is just for a uh, uh, sketching purpose after that we will delete all these things okay we can remove the picture so for sketching purpose only we use this image okay so uh, what i'm going to make a, a half session of this then i'll go for a, a revolve okay so for that what I'm, I'm i'm just selecting the line here all right i'll just make line a line this line, this line, this line, okay, click that and now to okay, so finished and we will make for the the dimension okay so the the outer dia uh, is 90 so from here to this it will be 45 okay so i'll just click on here and click here make it as uh 45 uh mm okay so for that i'll just change the uh our space unit to inches from uh millimeter okay so that i'll just click all right so now again, I'll go for the uh, a dimensioning and the sketch. Okay, I'll go for the dimensioning and the sketch. Okay, so that I will make it as forty-five, right? So that is just forty-five, and the inner dia is thirty. Okay, so uh, that I will make it as uh, fifteen. Okay, so from here to here, it will be one. Fine, okay, so the inner die is 15 and the height is total 30. Okay, so the length of this one is 30. All right, so that is finished. And uh, the outer is 40, so this I can make it as from here to here, it is 20, right? So I will make it as a dimension from here uh, to this line. This to this, I'll make it as uh, 20. Okay, so that's finished. 
and this is 8 actually so the, the dimension of this is actually 8 and all. okay so by this I finished my sketch I'll make some uh, small filleting at this end we, we know that this is R1 R4 and R1 so, okay I'll make some filleting here itself so we'll just make this and this we we'll make it as R1 okay so we we'll make it as one and one that is there and this and this will make it as R4 all right and this and this will make one of them okay so a filleting all finished you can see now the final thing I need a construction line to remove this so that I will just click the line and make it as a construction line just click here and make it a access for remove finish all right now I just finished the sketch okay so the sketch is finished okay so now I'll just go for the revolve function I can take the revolve okay so I'll just collect the uh, this profile then the, the, the revolve axis I'll make as this one all right so you can see it is finished okay so so simple it is finished the revolve function is finished okay so you can see what what next is we want to make a holes in the periphery okay I mean the in this surface okay this flange surface we want to make six holes okay so as per the drawing it is uh, m7 into uh, six numbers okay so m7 uh, into I mean uh, bolts we are using there so seven dia we are we will uh, use for that okay so we will again go for uh, first defining we want to uh, use the whole feature here to, def uh, to do the whole feature what we need is we need some points there okay so we make the sketch for that point okay click on the surface we want to make the points okay then right click view normal to the sketch plane all right now we will make a, a we will make a, 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 a construction circle first here okay so the dimension of that circle is now the whole dimension is not given here okay so you can arbitrarily taken it as uh, 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 it is 90 so you can make it somewhere uh, uh, 80 okay so 80 or 70 okay so better make it as 70 so 35 will be the uh, distance from center to this whole circle so, okay so I'm making it as uh, 70 okay so so that I'll just click on the circle click this point I'll make this right then uh, click on that one right click uh, construction okay you can make the circle as construction now all right and make the dimension as as I told it will be 70 okay 70 all right so what is now I'm going to make a point I define a point here which will be uh, you can just click uh, just move to the center line make slowly a, will become you can see a dotted construction a helping line will come there just go there click here okay so when the second constraint came there that is the coincidence constraints came and the the construction circle is also become a yellow you can click there okay so the point will be selected okay so what is next we want to make a pattern okay it's a linear pattern and there is linear pattern circular pattern okay so what we need is circular pattern of this uh, point okay so for that we just select uh, from the uh, toolbar sketch toolbar the uh, circular pattern then click on the entity we, where we want to make the pattern okay click there and how many you required you need six numbers okay you need six numbers and you click this line okay so it will be uh, uh, finished okay then you can press on the ender and uh, then click the outside it will be made okay so it is finished okay one two three four five and six points will be finished and you can finish the sketch now okay so the sketch is finished now we want to 
make the hole okay so for that you can go to the uh, feature toolbars uh, where you can select the hole feature okay so click on the hole right then you just click on the uh, sketch to okay so you can click on the sketch to all right so you can see all the whole screen you can make it a simple blind okay so if you want a countersunk or if you if you uh, uh, you can make it as simple and through okay so it become through okay so that is through hole now okay you can see it become a through hole now okay so that uh, i can click so you can see the through holes also made okay so the flange is finished now okay so the thing you want to remember is if a, 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 a model is given and if you are able to find a axis of symmetry okay a cylindrical axis of symmetry then it is better you can model it using a revolve uh, feature in the on shape okay so it is so easy and for this type of uh, symmetric orientation of holes uh, it is better uh, you can follow the uh, pattern okay so you can do it on the sketch or you can do it on the um, you can do it the pattern from the model itself okay there is another in the linear pattern so you can do it from there also okay so by that we are winding up this session thank you very much